Like you already know that they're toxic, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. You already know that the connection is dead. Hey, it's Anna. So how to let go of dead connections and relationships, but it isn't easy, you know? This video is not to tell you that this is how you do it and it's gonna be amazing and feel fabulous because it's not easy and it takes quite a bit of inner strength and like standing in who you are and standing in your power to be able to walk away from somebody because we all know that our minds go a bit crazy and like when you miss somebody, it instantly goes to all of the amazing memories that you shared like the story that it starts to tell you is all of these fabulous things and it completely ignores all of the crap that you had to put up with you know whether that's a friendship or romantic it kind of does the same thing so leaving connections is not necessarily easy but I definitely know that there comes a point in certain connections where you realize this is not it like, this is not what I want, this isn't serving me anymore, it's not even serving the other person, so we need to go our separate ways. But how to actually do that can be difficult, and oftentimes we can find ourselves in cycles of like leaving and then going back, and then leaving again and then going back. I've definitely been there. So, yeah, how to do it, I kind of feel like the main thing is to notice how you feel when you're with the person. Like, what kind of things happen? How do you speak to each other? How do you speak to yourself when you're around them? Like, what are the thoughts in your mind telling you about yourself as well? Like, when you're around the person, do you find yourself speaking negatively to yourself all the time? Are they speaking negatively to you? Like, what's the dynamic? I feel like the key is to have awareness of the connection itself first, to then be able to decide how the separation needs to take place like is it where you need to just speak a little bit less often but they're still in your life or is it where you completely need to cut the person off and like fully leave them you know like once you understand that then it can be easier to determine how to go about it and oftentimes we're really just settling like we're putting up with something that isn't actually great but that we keep convincing ourselves that it's amazing and that usually is because of fear and I've been here before where like it's hard to admit it when you're in it but it is a codependency kind of thing and a fear of being alone a fear of like abandonment maybe or a fear of letting the person down or I mean there could be a number of fears that you feel when you think about not being with them but at the same time when you are with them how do you feel you know like if you're with them and it's toxic and it's negative and it drains you then surely it's better off to face that fear and be alone surely it's better off to be alone than to be in such a negative environment and a negative situation you know and you also it's important to remember like we are electricity this whole world runs on frequency and if you're settling and you're continuously feeling these awful like anxious emotions on a daily basis being around that person then you're literally putting out into the universe that this is okay that this is how I want to feel that this is what I'm accepting you know, like you're not seeing your own divinity, you're settling for something that makes you feel like shit all the time. And why would you ever want to feel like that on a daily basis? And I know it's so much easier to say, like, believe me, I know it's easier to say. But once you realise that it's toxic, even if it takes you a few tries of really leaving, you will get there. And you have to believe in yourself and that's why as everything that I ever mention it always comes back to yourself because then when you look at the reason why you're scared to leave them why you feel like you can't why you feel like being alone is not a good thing or is worse like get to the root of that get to the root of why you feel that where that fear is coming from because I feel like for the most part it is an 
insecurity or a belief that you hold about yourself and nothing to do with them. Like you already know that they're toxic, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. You already know that the connection is dead, that you don't want them in your life. This is confirmation for you, I'm telling you. If you're watching this video because you're unsure about whether you should let go of somebody or you're unsure of how, you already know that that person does not serve you. You would not be having these feelings, you would not be thinking this if there wasn't a part of you that was saying like, I don't like being around this person. I don't like interacting with this person. So the next step is to understand, okay, why am I scared to let them go? You know, what is that showing me? Is that revealing to me that I don't know how to be alone? Is that revealing to me that I don't know if I'm worthy enough to be without them? Like, I feel like I need them. Is that what your mind is telling you? Like, really listen to the story that it's saying, because I've definitely been in this situation and all of the above were true. I didn't know how to be alone. I was scared to be alone and I felt like I needed them. I felt like I had to be with them. Like, I couldn't be on my own because they were me, almost, like, you, when you've been with somebody a while and especially if it's toxic and they're like can be manipulative and things then you tend to mold into what they need instead of being who you are you know and that kind of goes into more toxic and abusive relationships rather than just normal everyday connections but yeah I guess it's kind of hard to talk about it here in such a broad video because I don't know what your situation is but if you feel like the connection is not serving you based on how you feel when you're with them, the thoughts that your mind tells you when you're with them and when you're not with them, once you uncover all of that, then the next step really is to change your mind about yourself. It's nothing to do with them, you know? Nothing, because the connections reflect us. Everybody reflects you. Everybody is revealing something about yourself that you either need to change or embrace or accept or love or you know it's always about yourself so once you uncover where that fear stems from then it's literally about changing your own mind and being like wait I am worthy of being without them because they're not even benefiting me they don't even serve you because they make you feel like shit so how could that ever be more important and more just more worthy than you feeling good why does being around them come before your own emotions and your own sanity and your own health, you know? Surely, like, you were not born here to be somebody else's, like, feed their desires and make sure they're happy and cater to them and sacrifice yourself. That's not love, to be honest. That's not love. If you have to sacrifice yourself, if you have to shrink yourself, if you have to change who you are to please somebody else and to keep the connection alive then that's not even love that's not love at all <laughs> like that isn't and they can convince you of it as much as they like but it's still not true it doesn't make it true so yeah it really is a fear thing when it comes to what stops you what holds you back from letting go is a fear thing and that's in your mind that's nothing to do with them even when they instill that fear in you it's still in your own mind so only you can take control of it and that may mean to just completely cut them off like delete their number block them don't speak to them again and i know that that's hard but it is a continuous reminder in your mind of why you're leaving them you know and every time it tries to go to the amazing things that the person did and that makes you then miss them then remind yourself of how it makes you feel when you're with them like all of the shit things that they've done all of the things that have made you feel terribly like remind yourself of those things too and don't just listen to all of these amazing memories that actually were only five percent of the relationship you know like so yeah, I don't know if this is really a very helpful message because everything comes back to yourself and nobody else can do it for you. So how to let go of the connection is to realise why you don't want the connection, what what will make you feel better, what kind of connection do you want, realising like, wait a minute, this is what this one is, but this is what I really want and they don't align. 
you know, this person is never going to bring me the things that I do want. And remind yourself of that every single time that you fear, every single time that you miss them, every single time that you doubt yourself, every single time that you feel unworthy, just every single time that fear voice comes up, you have to shift it. You have to tell it to shut the fuck up. I don't want to listen to you. This is what I want to feel. This is how worthy I really am. This is why I'm leaving them. You know, you have to completely change it and remind yourself. Like, I write in my notes all the time and a journal. Journaling definitely helps because you can read back through it. But write it down. Like, literally sit there and write down, okay, all of the pros and all of the cons. This is what this person makes me feel like. This is what happens in this relationship. These are the negative things that happen. These are the positive. Like, weigh it all up. So then every time you feel like you need to go back, reread that list, reread how it makes you feel. Because when you read that, I guarantee you'll start to feel those emotions again. Like it will trigger you back into those emotions. And then you'll be like, holy shit, I don't like this. I don't want to feel this anymore. Like they do not deserve your time. They do not deserve your energy, your space. And it's time to let them go otherwise you wouldn't be watching this like you have to do it for you you are number one you are the most important this is your experience and you're going to meet so many other people like tons of other people so why are you settling why settle for a connection that weighs you down that is playing on your mind that makes you feel anxious and uncertain and makes you even doubt yourself that's not a connection that serves you so why settle for it you know and of course it's easier said than done and it's a process to really like change your mind and remind yourself of all of these things and convince yourself because the ego does like to get in the way but in your heart when you listen to your heart you know what the right decision is to make and you know how to go about it too like you already know the answers you just need to hear them you need to block out all of the thoughts that are racing and that are telling you all of these different things that are conflicting and like completely going against their own thoughts you know like our thoughts like to go against and contradict itself that was the word I was looking for our thoughts like to contradict itself all the time you know so once you get past that and you really listen to how you feel because that's where your intu intuition lies. Listen to how you actually feel when you think about that connection and you will instantly have your answers. But it just takes a bit of patience and a bit of love towards yourself, you know? Think about your worth. You are worthy of so, so much, you know? You are literally love. You are the frequency of love. That is your natural state of being. And anything below that, anyone that makes you sink below that is unworthy of your time, completely. So you need to remind yourself of that every day, even if you have to watch a thousand videos that tell you how worthy you are until you start to believe it. Yeah. So yes. But go easy on yourself because it is a journey and it is a process and there's no point beating yourself up any more than the connection already does, you know? So give yourself a little bit of love and a little bit of patience. It takes a bit of time because it's a battle of the mind, you know? It starts in the mind before it manifests in the physical reality. So you need to change your mind first and then you'll be able to take the action. So spend a, a bit of time by yourself, really hearing how you feel, really listening to your body, listening to your mind, listening to everything that it tells you and then make the decision. And then the answers will come by themselves. You won't need to panic. You know, you've got to drop the panicky, anxious emotion first and tap into your heart because you do know, and the fact that you're watching this video completely says that you know already. So I hope this video is a little bit helpful, but I mean, I say this in every video about how I'm gonna go into more topics in other ones, but I really will because I forget what I've said. So yeah, but we can continue in the comments. If there's any questions that you have, like I'm always here to answer any DMs that I always get, like if you have anything that, anything that you're going through that you need a bit of advice or help or anything like that, definitely leave me a DM or a comment down below. Um, you can DM me on Instagram or Twitter and I will make sure to answer because we all go through craziness and we all need somebody there to support us. And even when you cut off certain connections, that doesn't make you alone. You know, you're not alone because there's 
there's billions of people we all have family and other friendships and even if you don't once you get rid of all of the ones that do not serve you then it leaves room for the ones that are absolute blessings that completely match you and where you're at they'll be able to walk in but they can't walk in if you've got all of these lower unworthy pieces of dead weight in your space so free up your space and then watch what happens because i guarantee you like it will blow your mind <laughs> then your mind will have something to talk about then finally like it will have things to actually attach to that benefit you rather than all of this negative bullshit so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye I need a man that will hold me down If he